Uh, it was important. You know, we, we talked about it uh, the day before, uh, how we wanted to come out and be aggressive. Uh, and we, we came out and did that, you know, perfectly in that, for, in that first quarter. And we didn't, you know, we let go the rope a little bit, but we, we, we sustained it and, and got it back. Go no, front row. Uh, describe the business-like mentality that you guys came into this trip with and how you executed it. Uh, yeah, we talked about it at the game, too, uh, in Denver, you know, how we wanted to come in and, and make this a business trip uh, as far as, like, getting, you know, trying to come in and get two games uh, and not just one. Um, and we we came out very professionally uh, and got it done. Um, and that's why I said I continue to thrive with this team. I love this team and how we, you know, continue to fight for what, you know, what we want. Mark? You know very well how difficult it is to beat the Lakers in this building. What impressed you the most about the business you went about tonight uh, as a team? We came out aggressive. You no, know, in the mindset, you no, know, this is a business trip. Uh, we wanted to come in and, and apply the pressure and not let uh, them uh, apply the pressure to us first. Uh, we wanted to throw the first punch. Uh, and we came out strong in the first quarter, and we did exactly what we wanted to do. Front row on the left, Contavious. Nicole picks up his fourth foul. With seven minutes left in the third quarter. I don't think Jamal really had it going in the third. What, what, what allowed you guys to kind of survive that stretch? What did you guys do well? Uh, just play half basketball. You no, know, continue to move the ball, uh, uh, help each other on defense, um, and. You no, know, hit the open guy that's uh, that's open throughout that stretch. You know, like you said, uh, Cola got his uh, third foul. Uh, Maul was, didn't have it going a little bit, uh, but like we have other guys, you know, including myself, that you know can can make a play, make a shot down the stretch when we need it. When uh, when LeBron and AD had the ball, you guys were showing a lot of bodies, crowding the paint. How did you walk that line between clogging things up and still getting out to their shooters? Uh, just effort. Uh, you no, know, we wanted to have you know just that effort on defense, like knowing we we got to shrink the floor when them bo them guys have the ball, uh, and also make a, a second effort to get a contest when they do kick it out to the uh, to their teammates. Uh, and we did a great job of that, uh, just helping and, and also helping the helper. Uh, so that's that's a big you know key for us. What's up, Kay? You've been a quiet player, you know, but going back to your rookie year, but it seemed like tonight you were playing with a bit of a, a verbal edge. You got on Christian after you, there was like a, a mix up on a, I think maybe a Reeves three. Reeves, yeah. And it just seemed like you were a bit more aggressive, chirpy tonight. Was that, is that how you wanted to approach the game or did you just find yourself there? Um, I felt like I've, I've been verbal, you know, the whole season, or even more in the playoffs, uh, postseason. Um, just trying to keep my guys motivated, you know, for for the, the goal that we had set in, in, in training camp, um, and for like just Christian, just like we can't have the mistakes, you know, we, we we too close to to our goal, so we can't have the mistakes when we know the game plan was, you know, Breeze is a, is a, is a chase, so we can't, you know, and then when we have a small ball like that, when AG at the five, he's always in coverage, so we we got to know when we check in, we got to. Uh, just be ready and not handle mistakes. Left side, white shirt. Kenny, a part of the third quarter run I know was, was some buckets for you, uh, making sure to, like especially when Joker goes out, you take over in, in that moment at, at a couple of points. You've had a lot of those times during this playoff run. How do you know when the right time is to sort of assert yourself when most of the time you're, you're a fourth or fifth guy in the uh, offense? Just being patient. And when the ball comes to me, uh, taking my open shots uh, and being able to knock them down, just being confident uh, within the uh, offense and what we're running. Casey, KCP, KCP. Do you feel like uh, tonight is another example that shows that you guys can win no matter what the situation is? Like Joker struggles in the first three quarters, and yet you guys still find a way to pull it out. Uh, yeah, man. I, you know, I learn a lot about this team every 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 time we play. You know, we have that resilient, uh, that that dog mentality where like, no matter if we up down, you know, we're gonna continue to fight uh, and, and play our game, and we we do it at a, at, a, at a high level. And 
we got to continue to do that throughout the, uh, the rest of these games. Do you, do you remember if there was a point when you looked at this team and thought this is a team that can win a championship? Uh, I, I, from training camp, you no, know, since we've been playing together uh, and just throughout the whole season, you know, we, we, we're number one in the West for a reason. Uh, and, I, and I believed it from, from the jump that we could win a championship. And that was everybody's mindset. You know, we, we knew what, how we could gel together and play together. Uh, we just wanted to continue, you know, you know, just play hard, you know, together uh, and just continue to just do great. You know, we, 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 we the underdogs, you know, we, we don't get enough credit uh, for what we do. Um, and like I said, we number one in the West for a reason and not being talked about, you know, that's, that's a lot. So we, we take that personal and we just use that energy, continue to prove everybody wrong. Last question over here in Stripe. Cont Contavious, given that there's not a lot of experience on your squad of guys who have gotten to the finals, what, what can you impart on your teammates um, to get the job done at some point in this series and uh, get to the finals? Always uh, like telling my teammate defense, you know, we're going to win, win games for us, you know, and it's going to win us a championship. You know, the more we can continue to defend, get stops when we need them, uh, or get multiple stops, um, we're going to be great. And I feel like my teammates uh, and I, we, we're doing a great job as, at getting stops when we need them, especially down the stretch uh, and, and, and closing out games. Last question over here on the stretch. Uh, Contavious, you guys have, you know, we've talked a lot about the the business like, you know, mentality. Um, this really might have been. And there's been a ton of great wins in this playoff run for you guys, but this really might have been one of your best coming into this building, uh, getting a win like this. Do you feel like that business like mentality is kind of increasing for you guys as each round, or is? Uh, yeah, I feel like it's it's increasing. Uh, we we know uh, last round we went into uh, Phoenix, and we gave up two games. Uh, we wanted to uh, change that narrative. Uh, we went up 2-0, so we wanted to come on the road and make this really a business-like trip. You know, we coming to, we coming to get both go both games. Uh, we got the one tonight, and uh, just Monday we got to continue to just do what we did here and try to come out with a uh, second win. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.